Yeah, man. Different level now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Good Friday to you guys. Um, it's about nine o'clock in the morning, and if you got up, took a shower, brushed your teeth already before nine o'clock, kudos to you. <laughs> kudos to you. Yeah, I just came on here to share what I'm having for breakfast on Good Friday, you know. Um, it's like a Caribbean tradition to have like cross buns on Good Friday. And you know, like after you eat your cross buns and everything, you would go to church service. My mom's supposed to be um, preaching at 12 o'clock you know due to what's going on which we all know what's going on nobody can really go to church service you know go out and fly your kite anywhere or nothing like that you gotta stay at home stay home stay home stay home you gotta stay at home and i don't know what i expect you to do but i don't know i'm gonna like try and like vlog throughout the day what i'm at home doing I don't know. Give me one sec. <laughs> it's not like my sister going and put on music and play and you can have no copyrights clean. No, 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 no. So I'll be right back. Yeah, as I was saying, it's 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 kind of like a um, Caribbean tradition to eat your cross buns on Good Friday. The funny thing is, we don't ever make cross buns. <laughs> We don't ever make cross buns like we go, we order it. Sometimes you gotta like put in an order like you know a few days before Good Friday, and then just go and pick it up like the day before. I mean that's what we did. I don't know about anybody else. People could people just bake the cross buns or whatever. But we usually the order it, you know, because anybody got time. <laughs> anybody got time for that? Okay, so yeah. Let's say my cup is um lemongrass tea, fever grass, lemongrass, as you all call it. But yeah, the plant, not the tea bag, not the tea bag, the plant, right? You can pick the plant, put it to dry a bit, and then you take it to boil and wash it off. Wash it? Yeah, wash it off. <laughs> wash it. When you pick the grass, you wash it, you put it to dry a bit, and then you could like, you know, tear off a piece, tie it up, put it in your pot, put it to boil, and then make your tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, lemongrass tea and cross buns. They order. This wasn't... We didn't bake it. It's just delish. Look, just look at it. It's so... It is so cute. Like, I wish I could. Let me hold it. And yeah, you see the cross. Yeah, you see the cross right there. Yeah, cross buttons. Okay, so let me have a bite then. Give a little review. I don't want this little one. Take this big one. I doubt what I'm eating both, but we start off with the big one so we can lift back the new ones later. <laughs> Let me taste. It's good. It's really good. But yeah, my mom is supposed to be um preaching at her church this morning and it's supposed to be live. So I went and tune in and see what she's preaching about and maybe i'll come on back during the course of the day i'm doing anything to show y'all how i spent good friday i don't know but yeah i'm going to tune into my mom's preaching service right now
Okay, so I'm back on the vlog. <laughs> Not too long, finish watching my mom preach for the um Good Friday service. The service was um conducted online. I just finished doing that. And then I asked my sister, what is it that we cooking today? Because traditionally, like since I've been growing up, I know it's like, yeah, as I was saying, like, um, traditionally, like since I've been growing up, I know that like on Good Friday, you don't eat meat. Like, cannot have meat. I don't know why. Like, I'm not really sure. But it is something to look into. Like, I find out. I keep looking over here. But it is something to look into and find out, like, what's the reason for not eating meat. I want to know, like, if it's all the countries in the Caribbean that practice this every Good Friday. Like, no meat. I don't know why. But we have an, um provision today so i'm about to go and start cutting up this stuff this is not a cooking tutorial it's not about to be that i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just cutting up this stuff today I've never used this <laughs> this apron, but we're gonna utilize it today. Okay, so what am I actually cutting up? Cutting up Edo. Sweet potato. Cassavo. Alright. No, what's the name of this thing? But it's so weird. Like, it is so weird. Like, and when you cut it up, the texture is even more like. It's just a weird feeling when you cut it up. But it's a mixture of um. Potato and edo. Potato and edo combined to make this provision. It's weird. Let me cut it and show you. Like, look how it, it just sliding off the like. It's sliding off the knife. It's just weird. Never seen it before. What is this? Like, it's a mixture of potato and edo. Like, what? Yeah, it's some. Like, isn't that weird? I cannot stand the texture. <laughs> it's Edward giving me a fight. The sweet potato now is kind of like. Put down the water to boil. You have to put salt in it, like, like a teaspoon of salt, just so you can boil. I do. So just leave that to boil a little, and then, like, probably ten minutes before, put peel the plant and put it in so you can boil it. Destroy your um, provision skin. Destroy your provision skins in the compost. Right now, I'm going to take butter and put on the provision. Since it's hot, this is what it's looking like. And now 
comes to end of the tuna. So I'm finished cooking though. <laughs> and I'm like, should I show y'all this thing? Because if you judge me, if you judge me, oh, no judgment over here, okay? No judgment over here. I ain't gonna talk again, <laughs> you guys. So this is the finished product, okay? I'm having a glass of coconut water, and this is the food that I prepared. Please, no judgment. Bye bye. <laughs> like Edo, like a big Edo. Okay, so my sister is saying that it that I said was made from potato and edo is actually yam. So yeah. And also while I was eating, I sat here and I was looking at this new um series on Netflix called Unorthodox and boy oh boy it couldn't be me. It could not be me. Oh my gosh, like mm -mm. like if you're curious to know how people with other religious beliefs live like um i think it's like a jew is either they're jews or mormons like you should definitely check out that series but i couldn't i couldn't an arranged marriage like nah rewind and come again <laughs> anyway i just came on here to end the vlog do not judge my cooking tell me how you guys spent your good friday they say I'm gonna go now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.